Welcome back to Geospatial Intelligence Innovations, the podcast where we explore the evolving world of geospatial technologies, innovations, and their transformative impact across industries. I'm your host, Aybars Östuna, and I'm so glad to have you with us for episode two. If you missed episode number one, we covered the basics of geospatial intelligence and some of the game-changing innovations that are reshaping the industry. You can catch up anytime. In today's episode, we are going to dive deep into a very important topic, how geospatial intelligence is being used to drive decision-making across various sectors. From government and defense to agriculture and urban planning, GeoInt is transforming how organizations understand the world and make informed decisions. We will explore some key case studies that highlight the value of geospatial intelligence in real-world applications, examine how data is being converted into actionable insights, and look at the emerging technologies that are making it all possible. So let's get started. At its core, geospatial intelligence is all about providing decision makers with the information they need to make timely, informed, and effective choices. When you can visualize and analyze data from a geographic perspective, you unlock new insights and a deeper understanding of spatial relationships, trends, and patterns. But let's step back and think for a moment. Why is geospatial data so important in decision-making? Geospatial data helps create visualizations that are inherently easier to understand compared to raw data alone. For instance, let's say you are a city planner and you are tasked with determining where to build new infrastructure. Looking at a map with a clear overlay of key factors like population density, proximity to transportation hubs, or even historical flood data, can immediately highlight areas that make the most sense for development. On the other hand, when it comes to more complex or critical decisions, say in the context of disaster response, geospatial intelligence takes on an even more crucial role. Imagine the days after a massive earthquake, for example. The ability to rapidly assess the geographic extent of the damage using satellite imagery can help humanitarian agencies decide where to send aid first. By overlaying population density data, they can even predict which areas will need the most support. Geospatial intelligence is no longer just about where things are, it's about answering why something is happening and how it will affect future trends. This is what makes GeoIn such a powerful tool in decision making. It's about driving actionable insights from data that might seem disconnected at first glance. Now that we have explored the power of geospatial intelligence in decision making, let's look at a specific industry where these insights are making a massive impact. Agriculture. Agriculture has always been heavily dependent on data, whether it's about crop health, soil conditions, or weather patterns. But the integration of geospatial intelligence has taken this to a new level, enabling farmers to optimize their operations, reduce waste, and improve yields in ways that were previously impossible. Let's look at precision agriculture which is one of the most common applications of geospatial intelligence. Precision agriculture uses geospatial data, like satellite imagery, to monitor crops in real time. Farmers can track things like crop health, irrigation needs, and soil moisture across vast tracts of land. With this data, they can apply resources like water, fertilizers, or pesticides more precisely, ensuring they are only used where and when they are needed. 
This not only maximizes yields but also minimizes costs and reduces environmental impact. For instance, a farmer can use satellite imagery to detect areas where crops are not growing as expected. By using AI to analyze the satellite images, the farmer can spot signs of pest infestations, disease or nutrient deficiencies long before they would be visible to the naked eye. With this early detection, the farmer can take corrective action, saving time and resources while preventing a potential crop loss. Additionally, geospatial intelligence allows for better water management. By analyzing satellite data, farmers can monitor soil moisture levels and adjust irrigation schedules based on actual needs rather than relying on outdated weather forecasts. This type of data-driven decision-making is transforming how we grow food in the 21st century. Next, let's look at how geospatial intelligence is helping shape the future of urban planning. Cities are growing rapidly and managing urban expansion is a complex challenge that requires careful planning and resource allocation. Fortunately, geospatial intelligence is providing city planners with the tools they need to make smarter decisions about urban development. Take the example of smart cities, which use a variety of data sources to enhance the quality of life for their residents. In these cities, geospatial data plays a key role in understanding traffic patterns, managing energy use, and improving the efficiency of public services. For instance, by using real-time data from GPS-enabled vehicles and public transportation systems, City planners can analyze traffic flow and identify congested areas. This data can then be used to optimize traffic signals, improve road infrastructure, or expand public transportation routes to elevate bottlenecks. The result? Reduced traffic congestion, lower emissions, and a more efficient transportation network. Another key application of geospatial intelligence in urban planning is in disaster preparedness and risk management. City planners can use geospatial data to model the impacts of natural disasters like floods, earthquakes, or hurricanes, and identify areas that are most vulnerable. With this information, cities can prioritize resources, design resilient infrastructure, and create evacuation plans that ensure the safety of residents. Additionally, geospatial intelligence can help track urban sprawl. With the growing demand for housing, it's essential to ensure that new developments don't enroach on environmentally sensitive areas like wetlands or forests. By continuously monitoring land use and zoning data through geospatial tools, urban planners can better manage the balance between growth and conservation. Moving into more high-stakes environments, geospatial intelligence is also playing a crucial role in conflict zones and crisis situations. The ability to get real-time data in such areas is often the difference between life and death. Whether it's tracking military movements, providing humanitarian aid, or monitoring ceasefires, Geoint can be a game changer in the midst of chaos. A prime example of geospatial intelligence in conflict zones is its use in humanitarian crisis. When disasters or conflicts displace large populations, NGOs and relief organizations rely heavily on geospatial data to plan and execute effective responses. Satellites can quickly assess the extent of damage to infrastructure, identify areas where people are stranded, and determine the best routes for delivering aid. Additionally, geospatial intelligence is crucial in conflict monitoring and peacekeeping operations. International organizations like the United Nations, 
use geospatial data to monitor ceasefire lines, track troop movements, and detect violations of peace agreements. With satellite imagery, analysts can observe military activity and identify potential hotspots where conflict could escalate. This type of intelligence can help avoid unnecessary confrontations and facilitate diplomatic interventions. The use of geospatial intelligence in these areas is not just about responding to the immediate crisis. It's also about building long-term solutions. Post-conflict, geospatial data helps with reconstruction efforts by identifying areas where infrastructure has been destroyed and monitoring the return of displayed populations. As we look to the future, the role of geospatial intelligence in decision-making is only going to expand. With advancements in AI, machine learning, and satellite technology, geospatial intelligence will continue to become more precise, real-time, and accessible. In fact, it's already being integrated into many decision-making processes across industries in ways that are beginning to change the very nature of how decisions are made. In the future, we may see even more widespread use of predictive analytics in conjunction with geospatial intelligence. Imagine a system that can predict the impact of climate change on a particular region, forecast where new infrastructure will be needed, or even anticipate where conflicts are most likely to occur all based on data from satellites, social media, and Internet of Things, IoT sensors. The use of geospatial intelligence is also likely to expand in areas like autonomous vehicles, supply chain management, and environmental sustainability. The combination of geospatial data with other sources of real-time information will help businesses and governments make better more agile decisions, improving outcomes across the board. That wraps up our second episode of Geospatial Intelligence Innovations. We have explored how geospatial data is helping industries and organizations make smarter data-driven decisions, whether in agriculture, urban planning, crisis management, or beyond. The power of geospatial intelligence lies in its ability to turn complex data into actionable insights, enabling better decision-making at every level. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you are as excited as I am about the possibilities that GeoInt holds for the future. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode where we will dive even deeper into the latest innovations shaping the geospatial industry. Until next time, keep exploring the world from a new perspective.